Hello everybody, my name is Leandro Mada. In this video, we are going to talk about the firmware compatibility of the Modicon M241 and the Modicon M251. So, let's go to the software. Probably when you are open the, the box for the M241 or M251, you, you probably see these images. Oops those images, those stickers. If you use the, the scan of your, smart, of your smartphone, you can get access to this document for more information about the compatibility. If you read this document, it tells you basically that there is a new hardware okay, for these product versions for the M241 and the M251. So basically what you need to do if you're using Soul Machine, for example, you need to upgrade you need to install first this firmware into your laptop, okay, in order to use it. So, the first thing that we need to do is to download those firmwares, okay. You can go to the main page of Schneider Electric and then you can have these two versions for the M241, okay, and the other one for the M251. What it unloads is the seco file in both of them. So, in order to install these seco files, what we need to do is to open the Sew Machine Configurator Manager. In this case, I have this. Okay, good. And then it will open the Sew Machine Configurator Manager. If you are not able to find that in the in Windows, probably the best solution is to go into your C drive and find the execute. So let me show you the path for this. The path is program files, Schneider Electric, Saw Machine Software, Tools and Configurator Manager and the file that you need to open is this one. So machine configurator manager dot x. Once you open this, what you need to do is to go into add on patches from file and here you need to select the firmware that we have downloaded. For example, in this case, I'm going to install this one. You need to open it. It's reading. <laughs> okay, next, yes. Mm -hmm, okay, yes. Hopefully, no errors. Let's see. Installing. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Uh, perfect. So, once you have installed this, we just need to open our controller assistant. Good. So, this new uh, PLC that you have in 241 or N251 is prepared with the version 5. something, okay, which is related for the machine expert. So, what we're going to do is a uh, downgrade, and the PLCs in machine expert they have like security, so probably they're gonna ask us uh, for the credentials, okay. By default, the final wrong is administrator. Administrator, in both cases, with the uh, the first letter A and capital. So, let's continue with this. Update the firmware. We need to select the N two five one. Okay, select the new version that we have installed. As you can see, this one here. Don't worry about the other versions. I have different versions installed here but this one is the latest one that we have installed. Then we need to go next. I'm going to predefine uh, IP address. It's not mandatory, but I'm going to do it on my case. Next, 
then we need to write on controller. Double click to select the PLC that we want to work with. Connect. Probably you have this message or another one. We need to reset this. Alt F. And then it will start to downgrade the firmware to the version compatible with this device. It's going to take some time. Okay. But the important thing is that you need to download the firmware for the new PLCs that has this icon over here. Okay. And in order to check if it's a new product, you have these numbers over here. Okay. Depend on the controller in order to know if it's mandatory for you to use this version. Okay. I'm going to show you how much time does it takes to downgrade the firmware in this case. Mm -hmm. Just want to show you that the downgrade is finished correctly. We are almost there. seconds and voila we already have the image has separately been written okay on the PLC and then the this firmware is already on the controller so now you know what to do in order to use this firmware when you have the compatibility check on the controller so thank you very much for watching this video and I'll see you in the next one.